This is the Ad Hero Podcast, the podcast that reveals marketing tips, trends, and techniques by industry experts, insiders, and influencers. For years, Ad Symbol has helped businesses develop and launch campaigns to amplify their message, establish authority, and earn their lion's share of the market. This podcast will help you design and supercharge your plan to make an impact with valuable lessons you can apply in your business today. To get more information or start now, visit adsymbol.com. That's A-D-S-E-M-B-L-E.com. Let's get started. All right, we are back in the Ad Hero Podcast. This is a bonus episode. He's got something really cool. Not only is he the CEO of uh, a podcast, an amazing podcast. If you guys have ever seen the movie Limitless, it's, it's akin to this idea of a smart drug. And so we just have to ask, how the hell did you come up with this? And, and maybe more importantly, how did, how did you get a license by the FDA? <laughs> yeah, so it was an alternative to ecstasy back in the 1990s. Uh, and ecstasy was a big party drug that was probably okay. the biggest drug of the 1990s. And we came out with a natural version of it and sold a billion dollars worth of this stuff. And I did this all as a teenager and it's, uh, you know, well-documented. So anybody wants to hear the story, check out Billion, How I Became King of the Throw Pill Cult on Amazon. Wow. And and it, it's it is literally an an herbal based uh, ecstasy or what? Can you describe a little bit more for someone that might not know what it is? Yeah, I'm sure. You know, again, we sold a billion dollars worth of stuff. I was in my teens. A lot of videos on YouTube. If anybody wants to do a deep dive on it, I was on every media channel from here to you know Geneva. I was on TV, so it was my 15 minutes of fame. It was yeah, it was exciting because you got to remember it was pre internet pre-mobile phones, pre-social media. How do you sell a billion dollars of a fucking pill without the internet? That's really the, the, the amazing thing, right? And imagine where we would be if we had the internet. What, what, what was the, was it just network effects, like friends telling friends or creating like ambassador nope. uh, groups that nope. would run and push it? Like it was the one. Mm, not really. It was, it was. Me going into the clubs and hiring all the drug dealers that were out of real drugs to sell our legal drugs. Wow. And wow, eventually they it. started going. Yeah, check out check out the book, Billion, How I Became King of the Thrill Cult. There's an audio book too. It's on Audible. I read it. You'd, you'd probably be into it. Um, now I, now I understand the Narcos joke. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There, there, okay. There, there you so, go. And, and uh, we also heard that you're an Amazon expert. So, and, and you obviously wearing yeah. a shirt that says Amazon Mastery. If you guys are watching this on our YouTube channel, you see that. Uh, so, c- tell us a little bit what's that all about. Right. So, a while ago, you know, I exited uh, the herbal ecstasy business in the '90s, and I went on to inventing all the vapes and vape technology for digital vaporization. Uh, that company went public. I got out just before, and I started learning about this guy Jeff Bezos, and I was like, "Oh, this is interesting." Uh, it's just a nerd, mm-hmm. and then I was looking, I was like. No, 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 no. This guy isn't a nerd. This guy's the smartest guy in the room. And I need to learn everything I can about whatever this Amazon is about. So mm. became one of the first sellers on Amazon selling uh, a brain supplement called Accelerol, still for sale on Amazon. And uh, I learned the ins and outs of Amazon. And in a very short period of time, we had an eight-figure business selling products on Amazon. We were one of the, the first and biggest sellers uh, I became an expert in the Amazon platform. I'm still widely considered one of the the top experts uh, on Amazon and Amazon sell, sales, Amazon FBA. And what we did was we started a course called Amazon um, Mastery. So the, the website for that is fbasellercourse.com. FBA stands nice. for Fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, or people can reach out to me directly. And we teach people how to create Amazon businesses that create predictable recurring revenue streams month after month. Wow. That is, uh, who doesn't want that? <laughs> the right. passive income king, right? That's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I, I want to, I want to, I placed a tiny other- 900 ads. You remember that guy? Yeah. What was his name? I think it was like Don LaPree. By placing tiny yes. 900 ads. Yeah, Hundreds of I do remember that. I do remember that. I do absolutely remember in the, in the back of Boys Life and stuff like that. <laughs> Boys yeah. Life, uh, I, think it had, I think that story okay. had a sad ending, but I remember that guy. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I have a 
a different different avenue path question asking him. Obviously wildly successful in business. How do you how do you uh personally kind of uh attack a day or a week to kind of balance yourself with family life and friends and personal fitness and, and all that stuff with a wildly successful business? How can an entrepreneur best do that from your experiences? And and how you yeah. It's a good question. So I've, I've been in health and wellness for a good part of the last 30 plus years. I've been nice. uh, in the martial arts world since the 80s. Um, so I train Brazilian jiu-jitsu, mixed martial arts. Uh, so that's my, my primary source of exercise, but I also do uh, biking, hiking, any, anything having to do with being outside is for me. Uh, additionally, I'm big on all the biohacking stuff, and I don't get too much into the big – um, you know, the latest, greatest stuff, but I'm a big fan of light therapy. So red lights is a big thing for me. I'm also a big mm. fan of temperature. So I do do far infrared sauna. I do ice baths. And, you know, I read this book recently, which is amazing. It's called The Power of uh, Engagement. Or I think uh, The Power of Full Engagement, something like that. It's an amazing book. It talks about having these rituals in life, which I think is so important. So in the morning, you know, the first thing I do is cuddle with my kid, you know, have, have a, a, a fantastic, you know, wake up time with him if he's awake, which eight year olds usually are. Uh, they, they have an internal alarm that tells them when you want to be alone. So they'll, they, they wake up and terrorize you. So I, I spend, uh, you know, as much time, as much time with my kid as possible. And then I'll usually start the day with uh, a sauna, an infrared sauna. I'll do some red light therapy, and then I'll do an ice bath. Uh, and then I'll hop in the pool, do some laps. Uh, I'll get some work done uh, while my kid's at school. And then I'll train uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I, I train here in Los Angeles um, at a great place. If anybody wants a great place, reach out to me to train Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And then, you know, I come home. I, I eat mostly paleo. I'm not... Uh, crazy fanatic mm. about what I eat, but I, I don't eat the crap. You know, I don't eat fried foods. I don't eat junk food. You know, when I, when I go out, I read the ingredients and I try yes. to have as clean of a life as possible. Right. I don't do drugs. I don't, you know, do anything crazy that would jeopardize my health. I don't do anything that I can't take back really. <laughs> so, wow. you know, I don't nice. smoke. I nice. don't really drink. Right. I have a, a glass of wine with dinner. Um, and in general, that's, that's worked very well for me. And I stay on top of my health. I've got a, a subscription to a concierge medical service and, you know, they hear from me every day, like, oh man, what's this, this is going on, that's going on. And so I think that's all anybody can do, especially when you get into your forties, right? When you're in your twenties, you're indestructible, right? There's, you can fall out a fucking window and, and be back up the next morning, like nothing affects you. And then one day, one day, one day you hit 30 and you're like, oh shit, what is that? Do I have a back? Right. And then you hit 40 and kids are jumping on you and you're like, oh, fuck my back. You're like, I'm fucking falling apart. Right. So the trick is wow. not to not to do that and to have high levels of maintenance where you you constantly up and get right. And then I take a shit ton of supplements. I take a shit ton of uh, food based uh, nutrients, uh, nose to tail. Uh, I like organ meats. I do a lot of that. Um, nice. Yeah. So I think that's kind of generally my routine. And I'm always. Yeah, a lot of people that come on the program or that we personally know, you know, we talk with them about that balance in life, and you just—it's—it's it's interesting the uh, along the spectrum, like where people are at, you know, in their journey. You know, some people really got the money aspect figured out, but their health is shit, or you know, they got the six-pack abs, like the body of like a Greek god, but they have no spirituality or they have no friendship in life because they just spend all day at the gym or whatever, right? And, and so that's personally, that's something that like, uh, kind of always looking at the life wheel in all the different areas and trying to just max out in every single area is a personal goal for myself. And I've been sharing that a lot of that journey with Gino and he's been kind of like getting on that tip now with me too. And, uh, but we always like to ask the people that come on that are you know, wildly successful in business, you know, that question is, I think it's so important that we all share that if someone's able to kind of figure out how to balance all that and still crush it and make like a shit ton of money in the business game. And then also still kill it in these other areas. I think that's the most amazing thing. So I totally appreciate you sharing that insight. Yeah. Well, it's all connected, right? So it's all, yes. uh, you know, the, the balance and harmony that you have in your family life reflects in your work life, reflects mm. in your financial life, reflects in, 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 in all that area. So it, it's nice. about, it's about balance. It's about harmony. It's about 
not fighting with idiots and, and assholes and measuring your energy, right? What we know is you can't manage time. We all have the same amount of time. We got 24 hours. It doesn't matter who you are, right? But what we can manage is our energy. And so you got to look into the world at where, where, where are the energy suckers, where are the vampires, where, what are the things that take and give nothing to your life and that you can do without, and you got to be fucking ruthless and you got to cut those things out of your life and focus on the things that bring you balance, that bring you harmony, that, that put you in touch with, with nature. And, and, and that's the kind of thing that, that really at the end of the day brings you this sense of wholeness. I, I got I, real fast sorry, before we cut out. I got a word for you uh, that I made up with that exactly what you just said. I told you this a couple of years ago. I call them time pyres because they suck the time out of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So I even have my, I even true, have my buddy make a little logo. It's like it's like a clock with some vampire fangs and shit. Like, watch out for time pyres, man. Don't let these motherfuckers get on here. <laughs> yeah, not everyone's for you. You got to learn to say no. <laughs> You right. know, you got to right. learn Facts. what they know. And, and so, so often, you know, I learned this as a day trader trading heavily leveraged commodities. I traded almost close to a billion dollars in heavily leveraged commodities. And I learned wow. that the days you make the most money are the days where deals are left on the table. Because as a trader, you go in there, you turn on your computer, you got your high-speed connections and your subscriptions to all the services and the data and everything. And you really want to trade, but there might not be a trade there. So similarly in life, it's, it's that same kind of thing, right? I say no to 99.9% .9 of things that come my way. It drives my wife crazy. So, oh, do you want to go to this person's house, that person? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't. I don't even think I really like people. No, thank you. Right? Everyone's a fucking well, we, have, we, right? so we appreciate you saying. Over, uh, I'm a fuck you. We appreciate you saying yes to us for this uh, this podcast, man. It's been awesome. So uh, Gino is going to work his magic in uh, post. And get everything all stitched together uh and we'll definitely drop you those links and tag you on instagram and all that good shit and uh it was an awesome interview man yeah so so for amazon you guys can just reach out to me i'll give you my direct email is darkzess at gmail.com that's d-a-r-k-z-e-s-s -S -S at gmail.com or you can go to fba sellercourse.com fba of course standing for fulfillment by amazon if you're interested in being featured on lots of great podcasts like this one Go to podcastcola.com and book a free 15-minute consultation. Awesome, man. Thanks again, Shaheen, man. We loved it. It was awesome. We'll definitely stay in touch. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.